he's about to go kiss her, and he's like, "Sorry, can uh, fuck? Can you take off your like?" 1800s steam engine <laughs> hat that's in, it's no, in no, the no. way. No, no, no. Like no. Fucking Five Goes West. I don't know why you would have that out of nowhere right now. He, I, I hate to argue with you, but he does not ask her to remove her tiny little engineer's hat. He gently removes it, kisses her, and then replaces it back <laughs> and pokes her in the eye. God awful. Movie, movie, movie. Welcome back to God Awful Movies, where each week we watch another terrible movie so you don't have to. I'm your host, Keith Enright, and I'm joined by the legendary Eli Bosnick. Eli, how you doing, buddy? 300 episodes, Ooh. baby! Ooh. Trey Hundo! Yes! Woo. All right. Not going to say this is the season finale because a bunch of people stopped listening when I did that with episode 200. That was super funny. (laughs) That was a great joke I made. Clever. (laughs) And we also have two of my personal best friends. We're going to hang out this weekend. Eli won't be there. Tom and Cecil. (laughs) Cognitive dissonance fame. Tom, Cecil, welcome back. What's going on? I just want to say this. I hope I have enough big dick energy like No Illusions to miss my 600th episode. (laughs) (laughs) And I want to say thank you for having us on your 300th episode. But more importantly, Heath, Thank you for hanging out with us this weekend. Yeah, it's going to be so fun. <laughs> right? We Gosh. are looking forward We're like to really, it. We're like really, really oh, bestie should frenzies. Be yeah, a lot of fun. It's going to be right. fucking sweet. Not wow. in front of the 300th episode. Not here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to get Eli on Zoom and just have him watch <laughs> us oh, enjoy watching. Buddy. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to order an entirely vegan I meal. Wait. I was going to say, you, you go to nothing but vegan restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> What? I would never do that. I would never eat vegan food. We kind of have to work out a vegan green screen to make this happen. (laughs) All right. Let's get right into it. Tom or Cecil, what are we going to be breaking down today? Tell us. 2025. (laughs) The world enslaved by a virus. (laughs) <laughs> That's pretty That's good. correct. And that is a pretty perfect good. reading of the, <laughs> perfect. the tone and the yeah. feel of this movie. Or what they think is the tone. Yeah, that was, by the way, more drama than that entire movie say, brought in Tom, an hour and a half. Tom did so much more with that reading <laughs> yeah. than this movie does with its entire movie. <laughs> yeah, well, Tom's a native English speaker. We'll get to that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. That won't stop this movie's native English speakers. <laughs> no one. But that's right. We watched 2025 something something enslaved by whatever. <laughs> Eli, how bad was this movie? Well, if you loved The Room, but Tommy was those flowery, Tennessee William-esque prose, <laughs> took you out of the stark realism that you so needed, you will love this movie. You're tearing me apart, that is correct. <laughs> uh, If they had just played a little bit of American football in this movie, it would have been just mwah, the one thing they were missing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you guys not like this movie? <laughs> oh, I loved it. I loved it. I know what you I know what you're saying, but I did actually love watching this more than almost any other movie we've done. I was very entertained. If you love the room, you will love you will genuinely love this movie because this movie is the room, except no one's ever gonna like put on ironic like fundraisers or this thing or invite him to the thing. No no James Franco's not gonna make a spoof of this movie. <laughs> These Christians are just gonna cough on each other and be the four people who die of COVID in Germany. <laughs> It's the best. (laughs) All right. Is there anything you guys would like to nominate this one for being the best at being the worst at? Okay. I would say this movie has the best, worst, passionate speechifying. There's a lot of it. It's not good. (laughs) Here's mine. Best, worst. Best, worst. Heath's ex-girlfriend as a hacker. Yeah. (laughs) Absolutely. (laughs) Best, worst. Keith's ex-girlfriend is a hacker. Every time she came out, I was like, Rachel? Rachel? Is Rachel? Rachel? Is- <laughs> yep. Yeah. If there's a mountaintop Just as believable fight- as her fashion career, by the yeah. way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I was going to go with, we kind of hinted at it already. I was going to go with best worst. 
language barrier. Mm. <laughs> it's right. It's like an ESL class made a movie at night school and put it together. <laughs> The, the cast is mostly German. <laughs> Whatever. That's fine. Like, they probably all speak nine languages. Impressive. Yeah, smarter than I am. Yeah, Jesus. right. Exactly. Yeah. I, I speak one. But the ESL teachers are in it, too, and they're even worse. <laughs> so everyone, everyone talks like they're about to get punched in the face by somebody just out of the frame at any moment, but they don't know True. when. So they're just all terrified. And the native English speakers. There are native English speakers in this movie. Mm. And they have to deliver lines written in broken English. Yes. So it's like extra great. There are Native American speakers in this, Heath. I would not say they are Native English speakers. Yes, Na- yes. Yeah. Native American speakers, yes. <laughs> yeah. Not Native American, Native no, yeah. from America. Native the, the from American America. English speakers, yes. Yes. It's like they were all like a being trained to speak English with a shock collar on if they made one mistake. Yes, exactly. Okay. Terrified. That's yeah, that's better than punched in the face. Shock collar with a button. I like that. And hey, this is not like, hey, let's all gather around and make fun of ESL people. This isn't someone trying to make their way through a world in a new city. These are German Christians who are like, we must make an English movie about how bad the COVID is. Fuck you. Make your movie in German. Just make it in make German. Your shit. You, you speak German. German. Perfect. I, thank they you. They speak German three times in the movie with perfect fluency. And it's beautiful. They, they could have just had subtitles. Yeah, just subtitles. On a German movie. And well, yeah. Really it would be just too. as stupid and just yeah. as undecipherable to me with the subtitles off. So perfect. <laughs> this is actually getting a little ahead of one of the jokes, but like I, uh, I don't know who the target market for this movie is as a result of that. Is it Americans who we know just won't show up to a movie with subtitles? Is that well, or is yeah, it Germans? Who is the market? <laughs> Are, German sympathetic Americans who won't <laughs> yeah. out for a movie with subtitles. <laughs> yes. What? what? The neo Nazis. I mean, there's yeah. a lot yeah. of right. German sympathetic Americans. <laughs> so I have a theory about this, okay? You ever met like a British person who thinks the NHS is a bad idea and you're like, oh, you're a fun, delightful little curiosity. This is the four COVID assholes in Germany, right? Like they're, they're evangelical Christians the way Americans are evangelical Christians. But because they're in Germany, they're like, Hans, have you heard a good word about Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior? And it's like, shut up, schnitzel, slap, 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 slap. And take away your tiny coat and your little wire cream glasses, right? Because Europe is so far ahead of us. So what they did is they made a movie for evangelical Christians while living inside the nice progressive European bubble. It's right, exactly. Phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like people from the future trying to make a movie for cavemen. Okay. <laughs> that explains why they knew even in the movie that this was all going to go direct to DVD. They had an obsession <laughs> with direct to DVD and this makes sense. They love oh, it. they really do. And see, I'm going to go with best worst running. <laughs> There's a few great ones. I think you're right. I think you're well, right. My friends, I have watched Gary Busey run for a trilogy of films, but... <laughs> This movie wins best running. The the protagonist will constantly be chased by police and overlords and all that kind of stuff. Whenever there is danger, the main character, the protagonist of this movie, will throw his arms up in the air like a (laughs) Muppet fleeing from a hate crime. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. And run so far and so fast away from the action that there will never be an action montage in this movie that is not followed six minutes later by this panting protagonist coming back being like, sorry guys, I ran super far, super silly away. (laughs) Did I miss two or three scenes? Was there (laughs) un un shoot and slapping? Because I ran so far and so fast (laughs) with my skinny jeans. Skinny jeans are fun. All right, we're going to take a quick break and then we'll be back to tell you all about 2025, the world enslaved by a virus. Hello? Oh, hey, Heath. What are you doing in this Vince Cecil's new house? Oh, yeah. I'm here to watch him film his cooking show, Season Liberally. Want to pick up a few tips. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a great idea. But I mean, Heath, if you want great instruction from master teachers, why don't you just try Masterclass? Oh, what's. Masterclass. Oh, with Masterclass, you can learn from the world's best minds, anytime, anywhere, and at your own pace. You can learn how to cook from Gordon Ramsay, improve your storytelling skills with David Sedaris, or learn magic from Penn & Teller. With over 100 classes from a range of world-class instructors, that thing you've always wanted to do is closer than you think. Tom, what are you doing in the vents? 
oh, I, I was here for the housewarming party, and then I dropped a Skittle. I had, had oh, to get it. That's fair. So that's fair. It was a Skittle. So do you guys actually like Masterclass? Yeah, I actually subscribed before they were a sponsor. I started for the cooking stuff, but then they had really cool courses on writing, effective communication, even meditation. That does sound good. How do I sign up? Well, I highly recommend you check it out. Get unlimited access to every masterclass as a god-awful movies listener. You get 15% off an annual membership. Go to masterclass.com slash awful. That's masterclass.com slash awful for 15% off masterclass. Sounds good, Eli, but what are you doing in here? Oh, I just, I just like being in Cecil's house. It feels safe, you know? I know you guys are up there. No, you don't. No, you don't. can hear you in the vents. Shh. All right, everyone. If you can finish your espressos and take off your variety of tiny hats, we can get started with our super important Christian movie. Mine isn't a little baller. It is. Okay. So, first of all, we want to thank Greg from Walton, Texas for joining us. Greg was here for his mission, and this is really going to open some hearts, Greg. So, thank you. Yeah, uh, no problem. No problem. So uh, what's the movie about? Well, Greg, it's about COVID lockdowns and how it's like the worst things that's ever happened to Germany. Yeah. Uh, totally. Sorry. The worst thing to happen to Germany. Yeah, Greg. I mean, can you imagine a period of history where you like couldn't go to the dancing schlaft when you want to? Because that's real. Um, that's right now. Greg. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, the the dancing. What? Yeah, and like sometimes I I'm go to the automat and we have to wear the und, und mask and and I think to myself like wow Germany has never been this bad ever ever Total. Germany yeah. Germ the country of Germany yeah never been this bad Germany is like has there ever been a time of less freedom in Germany no no totally no no right M masks automat uh, it's just have you all spoken to your grandparents ever? Mm, not really. Most of them live in Argentina. Yeah. Yeah, that tracks. My grandpa is a pig farmer. No, he's not. He's not. Pig farmer. Nope. <laughs> hey, everybody. I'm Eli Bosnick. And I'm Heath Enright. And we just wanted to pop in and remind you that it's Matreon. That's right. And there's no better time to remind you to give us money than this, our 300th episode. 300 free podcasts. That's a lot of jokes. And lots of characters. And sketches. For free. And it'll always be free. But hey, did you know that there's an additional 58 secular episodes when you give us as little as a dollar a show over at patreon.com slash godawful? We've got reviews of movies like Batman vs. Superman, Pixels, and Tango and Cash. Plus, every new and upgrading pledge this month gets us closer to goals for our yearly pajama party live stream, where we get the whole cast together, we play games, answer questions, and generally thank you for supporting the show. So if you've been meaning to toss us a buck or two and episode 300 seems like a good time to do it, head over to matreon.com to check out all our fun goals and learn how to donate. And whether or not you got the scratch, thanks for listening to our show. We feel super lucky that this is our job, and without you, the person listening to this podcast that would literally be impossible. That's true. And now, back to the show. And we're back. And we're about zero seconds into the movie before the time dimension gets mangled by not being fluent in the language that your movie's made in. <laughs> the title card says, it's 2025. The world as we have known in 2020 does not exist anymore. <laughs> Very quick speed bump. As we have been not, hadn't, plus perfect, no shit. <laughs> when your title cards are as grammatically correct as my shopping uh, list, you know you're in trouble. <laughs> the, the title cards, this, my, my favorite way, it just, there's just communism. All over the place. All yes! over the place. Is what like, communism there's communism in your hair. Place. It's on your tits. You got to go get a towel for the it's communism. It's hard to reach places. Absolutely. It's, it's like, I guess it's a compliment for all that communism. Yeah. <laughs> also, a global state has developed and meetings are illegal. That's exact words. Meeting <laughs> yes. is illegal now. Meetings. It also says traveling is illegal, but... 
They just told us a second ago it's a global state, so you're you're all in the same. You don't need <laughs> that's not international travel at that point. That's dumb. And of course, Christianity is illegal. Yes, that's true. I hadn't considered the whole global state thing. <laughs> hey, you guys want to like go across the state lines and get a burger? We'll have a meet <laughs> over there. No, oh fuck! <laughs> it can't. It's like breaking like all the laws. <laughs> Feels like that was a weird agenda at that UN. Okay, so we're all communists. No meetings. Shit, we're in one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> everyone go home. We'll do the rest Anarchy of this Anarchy meeting. Later. Everybody just don't. We're just, we happen, we happen to all be here. <laughs> hey, what if this could have been an email where law now? What if that was law now? <laughs> oh, now you're starting to sell me on it, Tom. <laughs> So now we're going to open up with what this movie is pretty sure is a car chase. (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) Not a car chase, but an incredible simulation. That's for sure. It's so slow. It's also, he's driving stick. And like he's a European, so he can kind of drive stick. But instead of like cool, badass, fast and the furious, like, he's just like, oh, okay, third gear, because I'm on a hill now. (laughs) <laughs> and sent back down again. Okay. And then he's always like, ten and two, ten and two. <laughs> and I love Keep the, your the, eyes the ahead car. on the horizon. <laughs> <laughs> the car at one point actually starts swerving the way it would when an actor mimes the driving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, okay, I hope because you know there was a day where he was like, okay, I hope you guys are ready for the big stunt. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All right, did we get that? Because I'm not doing it again, you guys. I was so fucking scared. (laughs) Right. But he's getting chased by the globo European atheist police at this point, I guess. That's what we're supposed to believe. And they're in a nice Beamer that they clearly do not want to have to pay the rental costs to clean. So they only pull up because he turns off into a field at one point from the Beamer, but the Beamer doesn't follow them in the field. Oh, no, 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 no. The Beamer stops. They get out and pretend to shoot at him. And then a, a Jeep comes out of nowhere to chase him in his Geo Metro <laughs> as you. he drives in the middle of a field that you could literally jog next to. He's going so slow. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. But the worst part about that scene is that as he's being chased for his life, he turns up the awful fucking music that oh, he's yeah. <laughs> yeah. He pauses for that. The music will play a very central role in this film. <laughs> okay. That was bad, but I'm going to say the worst, well, best worst part of the scene was when he finally stops. Oh, this is amazing. He tries to get away for like a half second and he does a jump slide across <laughs> the hood. Slide. For no reason. Because no. he's just like, jump slide. Okay, I'm arrested. I was just doing that to come to you guys. But he's he, he's so unathletic. They had to cut it. They had to edit it because you know it took him way too long to actually get <laughs> on the car, Absolutely. right? To actually jump up there. Yep. So he had to, he puts his foot up there and then they jump cut it to him sliding off of it. They do not show him <laughs> awkwardly standing on the car and be like, I'm not sure what to do. What do I do now? <laughs> he jump slides like he just had both his hips replaced two hours ago. <laughs> it's so gingerly. My 74-year-old father uh, could jump slide across a hood with more grace if than If you've ever helped a toddler down from a <laughs> playground structure, that's how this jump slide looks. Oh, it was like me stopping on a slip and slide and being embarrassed for a second and being like, I too much friction. I kind of squeaked <laughs> to a stop and then just like rolling out of it. It's just so a sk- good. shitty skid mark behind him. <laughs> He's constantly trying to get his balance like a newborn fawn. He's just like, oh, what's happening here? <laughs> oh, so now it's time to head to the police station where our hero is going to be interrogated by the police. Mm. And this is where we learn that this movie has a script like I have a workout regimen. <laughs> <laughs> This is probably the weirdest interrogation ever. First of all, the cop sitting across from in the interrogation is wearing a tactical vest that he like must have borrowed from a real police station. So they just put black like duct tape over <laughs> yep, yep. Yes, everything other than the word police. And they didn't even do it not like in a good it's just all like fucking clumsily over whatever they're trying to cover up. Like we're just uh, police. Not There's only specific. one state. It would be stupid yeah, to name it at this oh, point. It was very true. Very true. That's gets less logically consistent. <laughs> <laughs> like they couldn't spring for a t-shirt or like that. Like their budget was this low. Like no, I don't know. Throw totally. some tape on there. We're already in it for seven ninety-five. <laughs> 
And he pulls out the Bible and the German Constitution, which we're definitely supposed to recognize. And later on, they have to call it out because they're like, all right, you don't know what that looks like. He pulls out the Bible and the German Constitution and he goes, where did you get these books from? Well, probably Germany, the German Constitution. (laughs) That's probably from Germany. But German Steve Jobs, he goes, yes, would the better question be when are those books from? (laughs) And there's this amazing pause while the cop guy's like, no, no, I want to know where you got them from. Not when. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, I got to say, like, as interrogations go, the cop doesn't ask any questions. He just gets monologued at for a long time <laughs> while this guy plays show and tell. How is that an interrogation? Yeah, the cops from making a murder are watching from the other room. Man, that guy's talking a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so he explains that, like, the Bible, you know, Time was different. Life used to be different five years ago in 2020. And he says, you know, we could eat together. And they're showing us little clips of what this means. So they show us people eating together. And then, you know, we could see a concert. They show a concert. And then, you know, we could candy flip at a club with extremely repetitive music. And they show us a German (laughs) dance club forever. (laughs) And he specifically says it was a time of peace, love, and ice cream. Oh, yeah. He does say that. So are we to believe that ice cream is illegal in this world of 2025? (laughs) I thought he said peas, clove, ice cream. That's what I wrote down. Uh, Oh, specifically the flavor called peas, clove? Yeah, peas, clove. (laughs) I thought it was peas. I I missed that. Okay, peace, love, and ice cream. It tastes like a jarum. This is weird. (laughs) (laughs) This guy is talking to a cop who is roughly his age and weirdly lecturing to him about an event that happened five years ago in their own lifetime. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what, he's telling him about this. Like, well, you you probably don't remember back when they're the same age. It was five years ago. What <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Why are you reminiscing at all? And during this reminiscing, we realize that he only got two shots. So it's like concerts, a wedding, that same concert from a different <laughs> yeah, angle, same concert again. <laughs> the rehearsal dinner for that wedding. Yeah. <laughs> And he, at this point, he also says, I don't want to live if I can't believe. And I wrote in my notes, yeah. is believing against the law? So I think that would be hard to enforce, but yeah, it's a, that's sort of like a meeting, yeah. <laughs> like a mental meeting. I do want to say too, and they do throw out the message on why they're speaking English. The German people are speaking English though, because he said at one point he stops and he says, we got a one world government and English got our world language is what he said. That's exactly <laughs> what English got our world language is what he said. This is also one of the many, many scenes in this movie that has an enormous amount of unbelievably clunky exposition that also inexplicably contains no explanation. Yes, absolutely. I've never seen a movie that it had this much <laughs> exposition without any explanation yeah. as to what the fuck is going it's on. Dexposition throughout. If you've ever used a language learning app and there is like a quiz at the end of the first chapter, that's how every conversation is. I go to the store. To the store I go. Do you like the store? The store is up. Is the store up? Don't they ask la biblia? No, that's Spanish. Right. No, no, uh, no, too fluent. Yeah, every time these actors talked, I just wanted to interrupt him and tell him where Times Square was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so anyways, and now he's done explaining that. It means it's time to doodly do into what will be the rest of the movie. Yeah, three months ago. Yeah, th- is it? three is months ago. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're gonna start with main character's sister. They will not tell us this is a sister for a while. Right. Playing the guitar <laughs> in what is very clearly her German dorm room, but they're gonna pretend is their house. Very yeah. clearly a dorm. One room. That's what they got. That's the budget for the movie. It is the room. It's just, it's <laughs> actually just this yeah. one actual room. We yeah. also have white guy, karate man, bun guy. So yeah, that's very important yes. to me that we mentioned that white guy, karate man, bun guy. Yeah, it's it's like this guy saw Cecil from behind at a supermarket, but didn't grow his hair out all the way before he committed to the ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, though, he busts in the door and he screams, guys, it's jock. And I thought he was introducing himself. I seriously <laughs> thought he was saying I'm here, but evidently he's telling them that someone had been captured or something and caught and killed, I guess. Yeah. 
There's also this line that pops up. A lot of a lot of my notes, guys, I'm sorry, it's just going to be I wrote down a line they said and I couldn't believe that they said it. So here here's a line from this movie. I've got some graffiti back there. We can spray fish. <laughs> okay. You, okay. That's that's going to be a plot point. So, so it's a huge plot point. Also, they, you don't have some graffiti there. Nope. No, you don't have a collection of graffiti back there. <laughs> what are you fucking Banksy? You've just got some graffiti laying. Yeah. Oh, I've got some graffitis. So this over meeting there. is like we're going to start Christianity again because it's you know here we are in 2025. In the last five years, Christianity was erased by 2020s happenings. We're starting it back up. You remember that very simple carpenter named Jesus Christ who drew fish, <laughs> and they decide they're going to draw fish. As the strategy of the movie yes. here. Yes. That's it. That's that's going to be their plan, yeah. And they go over what a fish symbol is, right? She's like, <laughs> we could draw fish. And he goes, a fish symbol. It's a line and unt. And there's a pause. And I was like, oh, my God, another line. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and then they give us a visual aid. The other guy's like, my hands are doing this motion now. It's, it's like, <laughs> look, look, watch my hands. It's it's line. It's arc. And ar it's fish. You see that? We, we spray I was hoping so hard that she was going to do the go muskies thing where she puckers her lips and puts her <laughs> puts her hands near her <laughs> face like as a, as a fins as a sort of like the, oh. we're going to do the fish symbol and I was like oh please do the go muskies thing oh. from drop that gorgeous and she didn't she didn't do that she did there is thing. another line I have to read because it really speaks to the heart of the movie this is not our fight God will fight with us and God will find people who will fight with us. Yep, but this is not your fight. <laughs> wow, when the God's going to do it, but then you got to find other people. Yeah, it starts out with, let's try. As I said, I will not give up this fight. Also, this is not our fight. It's what she says right <laughs> before that. What does she that can't make up her mind. And also, that's the worst. I've been to better. Okay, so when I was a kid, I used to LARP. I've been to better acted LARPs than this. It is <laughs> genuinely, seriously embarrassing to watch these people fumble fuck over what is clearly not written down. Yeah, a dude who's about to throw a beanbag at you as a fireball would be like, I'm sorry, let me take that line no, again. I, mean, <laughs> I said lightning bolt. I put the emphasis on ing. I should have said lightning bolt. I'm very sorry. Let me do it one more time. So now we're going to watch them <laughs> spray paint fish onto things okay. so okay. poorly. You sat down to write a movie about the Christian apocalypse, right? You sat down and you came up with this is the Christian apocalypse. And you could write yourself <laughs> doing anything. Anything. Literally anything you like want. Like, it's your imagination. So you could be like <laughs> a secret hacker who breaks, or you could be like a ninja who breaks in and like unplugs a bunch of shit or like kidnaps somebody or does something amazing. Instead, you are a guy with a spray paint can. See, that so is worse what than you that. wrote yourself to do. <laughs> it's worse than that because you're an asshole with a spray paint can spray painting the leaves on the forest floor. Thank you. I, Okay. There's spray painting, like your message, your revolutionary message could be disrupted by a light breeze or a rake. Yes. That's it. It's all oh, foiled by the wind. <laughs> and the, the reason why they're doing this though, Tom, is that they bought landscape paint. Okay. So, so they went to the store oh. and they bought cans of paint that do not paint if they are facing perpendicular to the ground. I they only that. Paint, I was wondering what They that... only paint if they paint pointed at the ground. So when they do it on the ground, it looks great. But every single time they tried to fucking paint anything that was vertical, <laughs> it would yes. burn yes. out like a guy who had fucking like, who, I don't know, just had fucking prostate surgery an hour ago. So it was like constantly like, <laughs> and they couldn't paint sideways. They And they did it over and over and over again. They kept on fucking it up. They got the wrong paint, man. Go to Home Depot, pick the right paint. This results in <laughs> shitty pink fish, which is truly one of the funniest things I've ever seen, right? Actress walks over to a tree. It doesn't have the spray paint thing on top, right? Because it's meant to go straight down. So she has to like curl her fingers around it and she draw <laughs> she draws a fish like it's alien three, right? I expected the fish to be like, kill me! Kill me, Sigourney <laughs> Weaver, please. Exactly it, too. And she very clearly turns uh, to the camera to be like, hey, that fish turned out really shitty. Should we get another take? And you can <laughs> you can feel in your heart someone off camera being like, it's fine, we will keep it. And she's like, oh, okay. Back, back to the movie. Also, like, they're painting just randomly onto 
things that will be disturbed. But then a cop shows up and immediately shoots that woman. Shoots them immediately. He shoots them. This, the, this is the best scene in the entire movie because something happened. So this cop <laughs> shows up and shoots her. And I just want to emphasize she's not even black, so it doesn't make any sense. Absolutely. She goes down immediately. Just <laughs> boom. She just fucking drops immediately. Then they some rando who has been like, perv spying on them while they're spray painting trees or whatever he's like hidden three feet away like the world's most obvious garden gnome <laughs> like he shows up and just beans the cop over the head hits the cop so hard the cop is just done like that's it yep. he's just he, he's well, fucking does done. he hit him tom no or does he no, miss no. by about six feet he does miss that. and the cop <laughs> still gets knocked out and he <laughs> falls <laughs> ah, the I the fallen's <laughs> and then and then German Steve Jobs, who had clearly run away in terror, yeah, right? comes back bolts. and he's like, oh, my sister, are you OK now? I thought you were running with me the whole time. And <laughs> <laughs> you weren't. OK, you got shot instead. Truly, he jogs back for a solid minute and a half. Right. He's like, oh, there you are. <sighs> Yup, I was here by your side the whole time. Let's get that <laughs> tourniquet on your arm. Yeah, I got I to gotta bring up the tourniquet, too, because, like, then you find out that she got shot in the arm, but she went down like a fucking sack of shit when she got shot and was, like, <laughs> immobile. And then they're like, oh, it was just a just shot in the arm. So, okay, all right, I guess you're right. Then they put a tourniquet on you, like, oh, man, that's, like, that's going to be a pretty serious wound. Like, and they they just cut off the entire blood supply to stop the bleeding. Pin in that for later, guys, because then she gets up and runs. <laughs> she runs in very impractical <laughs> shoes, by the way. Very <laughs> impractical shoes for this forest adventure. Yeah. Yeah. So back at the dorm room, they're treating sister's wound. All right. Let's take the pin right back out. Yeah. Yeah. So I was now gonna say. The gunshot is fine. It's scabbed over. <laughs> yeah. She's good to go. This is clearly the first take. Because when they come in, they're not really sure how to use the props in the room. So the f first thing to do is they move a chair over. Yes! But they've never shot this yet. So she <laughs> lays down on the ground. So she doesn't sit in the chair. They move the chair over and then she lays on the ground. And then nobody uses the chair. Right? So the chair is next to Dude sits on an Ikea thing. The other guy kneels down like he's praying in football. But nobody's <laughs> using the chair. This is the first time they ever shot it. And that was their take yeah, and <laughs> they're doing that like i need this stat thing but they don't understand that that's not move the chair so yeah. he's like move the chair stat <laughs> hand me that pencil stat do you guys have water yeah we got water mm. do you want to do a thai food later stat i mean <laughs> and the, the woman that got shot doesn't even seem all that annoyed by having bitch like she's no. not even like in a no. bad mood yeah. from it really she just seems like I should be holding my arm right that is what you do when you get shot is you hold yeah, it a you little you gotta press your hand to your arm for 30 maybe 45 seconds after you get shot that's pretty bad <laughs> you, know, you, you expect her to jump up and be like Little did they know you shot Lady Wolverine. I am fine now. <laughs> so now we get a chance to meet Hunter, who's the hillbilly living in Germany. And he sits down and he sits down and he's got, he's sitting there, perfect fucking absolutely dorky military haircut, sitting there. And they say, to him, looks him right. He's wearing a black shirt. Looks at him and he says, are you a Christian? And he's wearing the most obvious He's cross wearing a crucifix. Shirt. He's wearing a crucifix. No, man, my name's Tyrone. It's a T. I don't know if you know the first letter of my name. I wondered why they had so many necklaces yeah. just for me. And what the fuck. The first time Hunter talks, you're like, oh, okay, an English speaker. So, like, he's going to bring some smoothness to the dialogue of this movie. Nope. Worse than the German speakers, my friends. Oh, he's got the shock collar that Tom was talking about. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> he is terrified. He's about to get punched and shocked at every moment in every sentence. He's the guy who saved them, by the way. And he is an ex-Marine, we learn here. Yeah. Yeah, ex-Marine. <laughs> well, but, but quit. But Heath, hold on, Heath. This is important. Why is he an ex-Marine? Oh, right. Yeah, no, good. It's, it's an important part of the backstory. So, so yeah. important. He was yeah. a Marine. Yes. But then COVID happened. Yes. So he had to quit the Marines. <laughs> you know that? 
<laughs> that is the same reason, incidentally, that she is no longer a nurse. Yeah, yeah no more right. nursing jobs once COVID point. hit. There was no, right. uh, the medical profession right really up. just went Tried downhill right economically. Okay. Tried I'm sorry. Right we have to talk about the three beat though, because he's like, I had to quit the Marines because I didn't like what the um government um was doing. Yeah, I had to quit my job <laughs> as a nurse. And then she says, my brother was getting his master's in economics. Nope, in economy. Sorry, she yeah, has no economy, that's true. my friend. She does master, not master's economy. degree in economy. Yeah, in economy. But she doesn't go like, and there's no more economy. She's just like, oh, sorry, I thought we were just saying random things about my friends. My <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wrote my notes at this point. Oh my God, they're making small talk. I'm watching broken English small talk. <laughs> it is at this point in the movie that you may be tempted to wonder, will they explain the connection? between COVID and any of the subsequent events that occur. Never no, will that not. happen. Nope. Not they, a single time. No. They'll simply not a say, time. it's a virus. <laughs> I was a Marine, but then there was a virus. <laughs> and now I'm not, a, but we don't have Marines. That actually sounds great. Yeah, like, what? it sure does. No, but they will try to explain their spray painting fish plan here. So they, they tell Hunter what they were doing. They're like, yeah, so we're just, uh, Spraying fish to revive Christianity around the whole world, starting with this forest area right here in Germany. That's our plan. Right? <laughs> and then they actually say out loud, like, yeah, maybe we'll we'll come up with something better than that. But uh, it's not really doing anything. It's probably not, though. We're probably just going to stay. I must admit. I genuinely feel, I genuinely feel that most of this movie was initially just going to be played with music over it. I think that what they just told them was to make small talk. Oh, and the whole thing is going to be a music video. I thought it was going to be all B-roll because much Uh of the movie that when they, when they, when they make jokes or they say things, it means nothing and it has no substance and it's, it's really just exposition, but no real story. And I feel like they probably said to him, yeah, we're just going to be making a movie. Just, just to add, just to ad lib here. It's fine. Yeah, we'll probably put door. music over it. Yeah. This is B roll. This is B roll, guys. And then they, the editor didn't know that. And so they just, they just handed it off to him and he, he kept it all in. Mm-hmm. He kept it all. Also, it's, it's in this conversation that they're talking about, yeah, we should probably just spray paint some more fish. Are you in on our fish spray paint? I'm on fucking and, board. I'm a Marine. <laughs> and the woman who just got shot. Is like, yeah, let's go spray paint some more fucking fish. Bitch, you just got shot for spray shot painting fish six seconds ago. <laughs> like today, yeah. maybe take the whole day. Like this is your day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but speaking of useless B-roll, now to the sweet, sweet tunes of an IKEA showroom. We're gonna watch someone eat cereal. Okay, oh hey my guys, gosh. what the fuck is this, this is, scene? This what is my is, favorite scene in what the movie? This first is. of all. This is the best. We meet Layla here. Yes. And we're going to watch her <laughs> eat so fucking slowly a bowl of cereal <laughs> with the music, which says, I'm going to eat this bowl of cereal and then I'm going to be executed. Oh, well, back to my cereal. And she eats her cereal <laughs> super slow. It's a ama- That's all that happens. I just described the whole scene. Yeah. This is like 42 yes. minutes of the movie. <laughs> at, at one point, she opens a card, a like greeting card that says, and I quote, please don't risk your life for people you don't know, mom. <laughs> and I, I mean, I get it. My mom sends me the same text every yeah, morning. It's weird. But it makes no sense for the context of the fucking movie. <laughs> like, if strangers want you to spray paint fish, that's dumb. Don't do that. You might get shot or something. Okay, so we watched this woman eat cereal, and now we're back at the Christian dorm room, and everyone's going to talk about their backstory more again. Yes, now it's... Yep. Yeah, it's great. that This guy left the Marines because, this is another quote, there was stuff going on that you and me didn't like. <laughs> I wrote that. That's a quote. There, there, that's why you quit your job. Uh, there's stuff. Also, we don't know each other, but stuff. His girlfriend... Was also in the army. He forgot he was in the Marines and sided with the government. <laughs> and she's like, Oh, that's bad. And he's like, Yeah, we were together for like four years. I'm over it though. It's fine. <laughs> so, you know, if you wanted to do heavy petting, it's okay. Like I'm single now. So I'm just saying petting. I've had sex with a woman. That's, that's the point of my story. <laughs> I have. She was in Canada army. Shut up. Also, the one guy talks about his, how his parents didn't like what was happening. And so they committed suicide. And then the other guy, then the other guy tries to empathize by being like, yeah, my parents really like everything that's going on and they're so happy. 
So I know what you mean. <laughs> so wait, what? This is so, this is so vital. German Steve Jobs is like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, my parents were really mad about so having to wear masks at the automat. So they killed themselves. <laughs> and Hunter, our American troglodyte's oh immediate God. reaction is, I know how you feel. Me and my parents disagree sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, can I live with you now? Is the next yes. thing that Hunter <laughs> says. And they're yes. like, yep, cool. We love you being part of us now. I believe yeah, the Cecil yep. <laughs> quote. Mm-hmm. Cecil, I, I know wanna, where you're going right now. I want to read. Quote. I want to read this. This is from the script. The girl who got shot asks him, "Do you live around here? Where do you live?" And he says, "I actually live like 20 minutes. I don't even know where this place is. I would say 20 minutes away from here." What? <laughs> you ran there. How do you not know where it is? You just ran there. Yeah, no. Everywhere you go in Germany, you get blindfolded and taken against <laughs> your will. So, what did you bird yeah. box your way back there? <laughs> <laughs> and then, in the clumsiest outro, Hunter fucking grabs the guitar and plays the three chords he knows. Oh my she's so god! So fucking proud. And oh. she's like, uh, she's like, oh, do you play the guitar? And he's like, yes, now mine. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I used to. Is my church is it just takes practice, he says. You know, you just gotta practice and yeah. keep your fret hand off camera. And have, and, and have uh, two <laughs> arms. That helps. Two arms, not one shot, that's for sure. That would be helpful. Yeah. All right. So now we're gonna head over to Bad Guy HQ. And okay, is this serial girl? Yeah, this is Layla, serial girl. Okay, that makes serial scene a little bit less insane. So we're at Bad Guy HQ. Does it though? I I, I don't know. Slightly less than a totally unrelated serial scene. Okay, yes, she's in the movie. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, character yeah. now in the movie. I, I don't understand any other connection actually whatsoever to those <laughs> scenes. I also don't understand the scene where the bad guy's like, I'll give these to my daughter. Why... What? Right. Why so, did that happen? Why did that scene happen? It makes no sense. <laughs> Layla is working at Atheist Army HQ. Yeah, right. They're like regional said, yeah. branch, right? That's what mm-hmm. we're supposed to yeah. believe. She's the assistant to She's the assist- regional yeah. manager no, she literally is. <laughs> of atheism. The assistant to the regional atheist army manager sergeant guy. Whatever. She's sitting at a desk and Master Sergeant shows up with the cases, which is a manila folder, the only one they own that they use as the prop yes. for every single other paper thing in the rest of the movie, the which is star great. star of this movie, my friends, is this manila folder, which you can tell they shot in real time because it will get beat to shit as the movie goes forward. Oh, yeah, there's like cum on it by the end. I don't know why. They don't care. That's the one they own. They're using it. And the evil atheist sergeant guy is probably... If he's not, I think he's probably Hunter's dad. I didn't get to the credits. No yet, question. No But I suspect he's question. related to Hunter in some way outside of the movie. But in the movie, he's evil atheist sergeant guy who clearly got his tongue pierced yesterday because he says, <laughs> those are the latest cases, uh, I'll give them to Saren Lucinda, my daughter. <laughs> Thank you. He seriously is like fucking every guy you've ever met in a bar that has no windows. He is that guy. Okay. You want to just finish eating the sand that you were working yeah. on? And then you can tell me about the cases? Cool. That guy doesn't pronounce one thing in this movie. Not, not, a, not single, a single thing. Not, he doesn't get through a single line. He is one take Steve, too. You know they never took another take. <laughs> yeah. He is pronouncing how I spell, my friends, throughout the entire film. And again, this is another American native speaker yes, of American native English. Speaker. Yes. Native yeah. speaker. Yes. And just when you thought this movie was going to be two scenes over and over again, they add a third scene, which is where we're going to watch a hacker oh, yeah. do yes. hacker oh. stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they also <laughs> clearly bought a green light bulb just to make the computer area more like <laughs> more green. with green. More green. Yeah. Yeah, it's the Matrix, dude. <laughs> they have, so I've I've paused on this. They have a code window, like a window where you could write code with a code I couldn't make out in it. They have a still bar graph in the upper left-hand corner. But in my favorite part, they have the character creation screen from Civilization 3 in the top <laughs> right hand of the corner to try and make it look like they've got face analysis or something. Yeah. It's pretty fantastic. They also have a... 
Bitcoin mining area yeah, on data, the bottom data right, thing always, in the yeah. bottom, which yeah. literally yeah. it's a gra- <laughs> it's a graphic of a pickaxe just chopping into like some stones with the letter B in it. Yeah. <laughs> And hey, I'm going to be honest, if that was how Bitcoin mining really worked, I would not know. <laughs> I will also say, though, I will also say, though, in its in its defense, this screen is the best screen that we will see in the in the rest of the movie, because the yeah. rest of the movie is all word documents and the command prompt. Yep. So the rest of the movie, the rest of the movie, they don't even try. At least they tried in this part. Right. Yeah. At least they tried. They turned it to a mon- monocomb green. There's a command prompt. They made it all like like sans serif typing. So it kind of looks like computer language. Well- but at least they did the best they could. The rest of it, seriously, the rest of the movie is a word document. Okay, but the hacker, <laughs> the hacker's hand, first of all, the hacker's going just with the left hand and yes, only no, on right. the home keys of ASDF. <laughs> so all that's the true, true. Is done with ASDNF somehow. That is true. That is true. Or okay, capital oh, ASDNF. Yeah. Maybe you could go shift in there and I didn't notice it, but that's all that's happening. Can someone explain to me why you have to like wear a disguise while you're hacking? Like, is there... <laughs> He's like wearing a hoodie. Like I don't want someone to see I me mean, hacking. In, in the case of this movie, it was so that we didn't find out it was Heath X until. <laughs> <laughs> well, seriously, it was meant to be like, oh, it's this dude hacker that they're gonna yeah, eventually work yeah. in, but it's a female character. So I think that was all they were going for. There is just that was like a big revelation that there might be a a lady with a computer, and it was supposed to be a big surprise. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think it's time for a quick break. I guess any t- you guys just shout them out when you want a quick break. We're going to do one now. And then we'll be back with <laughs> some more of whatever the fuck this was. We're using yeah. a tap out method here on episode 300. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cecil something Italian. And as someone who often attends restaurants with Heath, Eli and Tom, I can assure you there is nothing like a fresh home cooked meal. Yeah, I don't even understand what's confusing. I said, bring me the menu. Three times. That's the menu. Just the menu three times. With HelloFresh, you get fresh, pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. No way. Yeah. I also went to middle school. So who'd you have for first period? Oh, oh you have other table? Okay. No, I, I get it. You just, first period? No, no, you got stuff to do. You can tell me when you come back. It's cool. HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and grocery store trips. So you'll enjoy cooking and getting dinner on the table in about 30 minutes or less. And I've seen Eli take longer to do that, ordering a beverage. No, 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 my friend. Not tomato juice. I want you to take a tomato and juice it. That is step one. I'm going to let you know what the the next step is. Plus, HelloFresh is 28% cheaper than shopping at your local grocery store and 72% cheaper than a restaurant meal without sacrificing the quality. Okay, what do you mean you won't sell me the tablecloth? I like the tablecloth. Sell me the tablecloth. Yeah, I actually subscribed to HelloFresh after they sent us a sample box. They have easy-to-make vegetarian meals, and everything comes in its own bag, so it unpacks in seconds. Now, about this dessert menu, do you have hot ice cream? So... If you want to cut the hassle out of cooking, go to HelloFresh.com slash Awful12 and use the code Awful12 for 12 free meals, including free shipping. That's 12 free meals, including free shipping when you go to HelloFresh.com slash Awful12 and use the code Awful, A-W-F-U-L, one, two. Well, that was delicious. Quick question. Can I group hug the entire kitchen? They're bit, right. They're bit, obviously no. They're doing stuff there. It's a restaurant that's working right now. No, I get it. Just like maybe a couple of the line cooks, just me and like two of them. <laughs> and now back to Atheist Cop on ABC. Is that the perp? Yeah, that's him. That's our guy. Only one way to find out. Good morning, Mister Johnson. Yeah, that's me. And I'm telling you, I ain't no Christian. You got the wrong guy. Not me. I'm sure we do, Mr. Johnson. We just want to ask you a few questions, then we'll let you just get back to your Sunday. Oh. Enjoying your Sunday. Is it Sunday? It's Sunday today? Yeah, that's right. Huh. A beautiful Sunday morning. Why? You didn't have plans, did you? <laughs> me? No. No, of course not. So I just hang out on Sundays. Just nothing. Good, good. You don't mind if I if I eat, do you? You know, like 
just dive in without saying anything, you know, just dive right into this food. What do you, yeah. what do you say? Is that, no, is that fine? That, is no, that, that, uh-huh, okay. that, that is fine by me. Yep. I'm going to eat it. Damn it. This might not be our guy. Let me try one last thing. Okay. Say, uh, Mr. Johnson. Yeah. When I say God, I mean Jew and Muslim. No, God the too. fuck you don't. Book him. That is our word. How dare you? Sure it is, buddy. Sure it is. I want to do an invocation right now. <laughs> hey there, Cecil. You know what I hate? What? What's that, Tom? Bald guys with goatees. Oh, man, Tom. Me too. Eli, what is this? What's oh, what, it's are, a, what are we? It's for Matreon. Yeah, it's our fundraiser thing we do every year or every couple of years. For our show, we try to boost our Patreon thing. Yeah, no, no, I, guys, I know, I know what Matreon is. Why are you having Tom and me say that we like all this mean stuff about bald guys with goatees? What is oh, that? Yeah, okay. So we figured we probably have a lot of listeners in common, right? Yeah, yeah, and a bunch of them are bald guys with goatees. So what better way to fundraise than to get you guys to piss off your patrons, and then they'll become ours, our patrons? Yeah. Hey, look, Eli, Heath. You do a fine show here. I'm sure people appreciate that you watch these movies and give them a free product. And, you know, they'll be happy to head over to Matreon.com and support you. You don't need us to scare away our patrons by saying, uh, and I've always thought that K-pop is overrated. I mean, I guess you have a point, Tom. I mean, so we don't need to make Cecil say that people who drink sparkling water should be set on fire. No, you don't. They do, though. They actually do. Oh, my God. Totally. Yeah, yeah. That's not. Just order a soda. Weird. Thank you. So, Matreon.com. Yeah, for money. (laughs) And we're back. When we left off, we took a a break from a movie, and now we're watching it again. And the characters (laughs) are doing stuff. Literally, okay, at this moment... The characters are going to go for a long walk in a movie, and we're going to watch that. (laughs) Yeah, They literally small talk about the weather at the beginning of this scene. That's not an exaggeration. (laughs) That's exactly what happens. Yeah, then then one guy tells a joke that nobody finds funny. We're going to hear a joke in the movie and a second joke. It's so exhausting. We hear a joke that nobody likes, and then he's like, who did, what did Corona do to Jesus? Nothing. That's the okay, joke, guys. Not a joke. No, that's, fucking, that's, that's the that's joke. The joke. That's and the, the delivery joke. that Eli gave, as awful as it was because he was mocking it, was still a thousand percent better time. Way better. Yeah. Way better. Why would why would Corona do anything to Jesus? He's not back yet. He didn't there wasn't <laughs> coronavirus then. He's not back yet. Why of course it did nothing. Stupid. Doesn't even make sense. And then he fucks up the fish joke. Right? She's like, do you have another joke? Because the movie needs to be 90 (laughs) minutes long. And he's like, sure. (laughs) How many fish eyes is there one if you had? (laughs) What? (laughs) Oh, you're just gonna... That was the punch. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Seriously, these are are the kind of jokes you would find, like, on a popsicle stick. Yeah. Like, if you ate the whole popsicle and it was poison, this is the joke that would be... (laughs) This is the last joke you would see. (laughs) On the popsicle. And then... He draws his first fish and it's supposed to be this like very monumental moment, but he very clearly draws an eight instead of a yeah. fish. He draws the infinity <laughs> signal a hundred percent. A hundred percent. And then he stops to, to do animal calls at a certain point. Yep. He <laughs> yells at some sheep. He's like, that is the weirdest Cecil. That is the weirdest thing ever. Cause it is unexplained. It doesn't make it just yells at a field he just yells animal sound into an empty field it was seriously what i have to assume is that hunter the actor right is a christian missionary of some kind and met the last two german christians and they were like we're making this movie about how bad covid is do you want to just wander around with us and they kept all of hunter trying to talk to these europeans and included it in yes. the movie yeah it was supposed to be b-roll i think all this is supposed cuz nobody why would you keep what would Corona do to Jesus? Nothing. Why would you keep that in? Clearly, they're supposed to be <laughs> pretending that they're laughing and having a good time, yes. but the editor didn't know it when it came on his desk. So he's just like, well, I guess I got to keep that. I guess I'll turn their their sound up here and 
Make sure we get that punchline. Throw a little boom boom at the end. <laughs> yeah. Also, that fish joke. The, the guy like goes for a high five, and the other dude is not expecting him to go for a high five. <laughs> Tell it's amazing. So it's an angry, awkward but... joke with a bad punchline, and then a weird physical like failure <laughs> connection moment. <laughs> It's just the whole it's thing makes you want to hide under the covers. Oh, not it's rather all than watch. That was the good part of the B roll that they kept the audio yeah. for and showed us all. At this moment, they're like, okay, that was great. Now we bring in the music, which is like happy thruple at the farmer's market montage moment. <laughs> so for the rest of the thing, it's no audio of them. And we're just walking around. We watched them walk for a yeah. bunch longer. It's ridiculous. Yeah. We do. Also, this woman, just to remind everybody, was just shot very recently. <laughs> She's fine. You know what, Tom? The movie let it go. I need you to let I it go. I can't do that. I can't. She's fine. Because now they are graffitiing again in broad daylight after having been just shot for graffitiing. And again, at Cecil's point, yelling angrily at the woods or whatever. But there's <laughs> no attempt to be clandestine. This is no. a high treason Every offense is punishable by death. And they're like, I'll wear my cross on the outside of my clothes. I will graffiti in broad daylight. And in case anyone's wondering, I'll yell cow sounds at a tree. Again, they, they could have done anything. They could have written themselves <laughs> doing anything. They chose to do caw, caw sounds to an open field. That's what they chose. Okay, but Tom has just realized that I we have not yet mentioned the most important character. Okay, second most important character after the Manila folder, which is German Steve Jobs's teeny tiny Eastern European leather jackets, <laughs> which <laughs> do grow smaller as the movie goes really on. Does. They are, really they are does. my son's yeah. onesie size yeah. at this point, but by the end of this, they're like microscopic. Ant Man <laughs> is wearing them to a ball. His arms, his arms just start slowly going up like that kid from Christmas Story. <laughs> exactly. You can't put him yeah. down. Yeah. So we check back in with the hacker for a moment. They're still hacking away. Yeah, it's dubstep now. Yeah. Yeah, they're yeah. googling. The Jesus fish? <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. On Wikipedia. Hacker Skrillex is using Google. That's what's yeah, happening Google. right now. Yeah. Google, because you don't want to be tracked, guys. You don't want to be tracked. So <laughs> <Right>. use Google <laughs> to cover your tracks to search for Stupid. things. Stupid. You yeah. got to use Bing. Everybody knows yeah. that. <laughs> so the best part of this, though, is that the hacker is highlighting little phrases within Wikipedia yes. for themselves, like to emphasize so they what they're reading to themselves. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'll highlight this on the website so that later when I come back to... Oh, no, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Can I fold down the corner of the web page? This is very confusing. <laughs> and if you've been thinking to yourself, man, I can't imagine that these people could be worse at acting. That's because you haven't watched them try to pretend to sleep yet. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, is she is sleeping. So here's how they all are acting sleeping. She is sleeping like she just fell off a cliff. <laughs> Limbs akimbo. Marine guy is sleeping propped up on his arm, which is physically impossible. And German guy, I've in the that. most amusing choice, is sleeping like a vampire with his arms crossed across his chest. <laughs> yeah, they're all supposed to be sleeping, and then there's a knock on the door. Oh. And they all snap up like we weren't watching them not be asleep yet in, <laughs> in the movie. We were just watching that. They snap up and they're like, are you a fucking traitor? Did you sell us out? To yeah, yell no at kidding, right? right away. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> after honor. Yeah, I infiltrated your fish painting gang of two <laughs> to ruin your whole Christianity plan. That's what's happening here. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, but it's actually Layla at the door. Yeah. No. Is no, that it's no, Rachel. No, no it's, it's Rachel. Holly the hacker. Her name no, Rachel. is not Rachel, but yes, it's, it's Rachel. <laughs> it's Rachel the, the hacker. hacker. Rachel's there and she's like, now is the time on Sprockets when we die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's there to help. To be clear, <gasps> at this moment, I was like, so she followed the like trail of fish paintings <laughs> to this house? <laughs> but they try to explain it. She's like, yeah, I'm a hacker, so I hacked the address of your unknown squatter house. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. What does the movie think is happening here? What does the movie think? Okay, even more generally, what does the movie think the word hack means? Oh. Great question. Great they question. use hack, Heath, as a way to mean 
omniscience. <laughs> yeah, it's the do. same. Okay, it's it's it. That's the correct answer. Yeah, yeah. got it. Yeah. Oh, I hacked it. I that's because they they will also reveal later that they can do anything and never get caught because they have a hacker. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, hack, of, hack, of a hack. Important yes. part. Yeah. <laughs> they use it like because I have three wishes. Yeah. yeah. It's Deus Ex Hackena. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> This is also where we get my favorite line of the entire movie. So they're worried about this character named Lucinda, who is the major sergeant's daughter. And when they mention that to the hacker, she goes, you mean Lucinda? She is an animal cracker. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you. That's is racist. That a saying? I'm sorry. That That's is, racist. Nope. Yeah. It's not a saying, but we do sell that T-shirt. <laughs> Lucinda is an animal cracker T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Available now. This is also when you find out that that Holly wants to join them and her plan is to hack the police. Hack the police. Exactly. To get the phone yeah. numbers of the Christians. <laughs> and she, they were like, oh, you can hack the police? And she's like, well, it might take a couple of hours to hack the all police everything <laughs> hack. But yeah, I could do it in like a couple of hours. And Christianity is a is a offense. Like you die. It is yeah, a, it's, that's it's a, a treason, and they have treason, the police yeah. know who the Christians are. Right. So is this what the movie's saying? So Holly can hack the police and get the phone numbers. Of phone numbers. Yeah, the she's Christians very clear about that. All the Christians. Yeah. Yes. And then they're going to yeah. they call, up call all the Christians <laughs> in the world they're gonna, they're gonna and be like, bank. do you guys yeah. want to get back into the Christianity? And we, we've been painting fish. Are you guys in? <laughs> And that's the plan, right? <laughs> and and the Christians will be like, well, I didn't realize you were painting fish. Yes, let me do this thing that endangers my life. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to get past their intricate defenses by asking them about their car warranty first. And then they're going to go <laughs> right into the Christianity afterwards. <laughs> also, Heath, let's be fair. It's not just phone calls. They're also going to get some <laughs> Bibles and Christian books. <laughs> and she's going to make her exact words... DVDs, which are untrackable. <laughs> She's going to hack up some DVDs. Hack yeah. up some yeah. DVDs. Yeah. Christian DVDs. At this moment, I was like, please show us whatever the fuck the movie thinks that means. And they yes. actually will, yep. though. I was yep. like, okay, well, that's dumb. They're obviously, they're just saying like, oh, we'll make some DVDs for fun. No, this will be like the linchpin of their yeah. plan to bring big Christianity deal. back to the entire world with DVDs. It's amazing. <laughs> I also want to point out at this point that the music here absolutely does not match their complete lack of enthusiasm for their own plan. No. Yeah. The music is you are fighting a Final Fantasy boss when he stops to tell you about his dead wife. That is the music <laughs> that is happening. At one moment, they also realize like, oh, we're just literally four people in some town in Germany. We really need to do like all the other cities in the world, right? And that's when one of the other characters, was it uh, the sister? What's her name? Literally no idea. Steve Jobs. No, I don't know. Steve yeah. Jobs' I don't sister. Know. sister. She's like, oh, we need to do all the other cities in the world. I will city it. Yes, yes. <laughs> and everybody's like, cool, you got it. You've got, you're yep, on top yep. of cities, world, city, world. Plan. <laughs> Great. DVDs, totally check, and we're going to win. It's like I will city them. <laughs> the plan is bananas nonsense. And the movie has no idea. They're just like, we named some stuff in the plan. Cities, DVDs. Yep. Did it. We will hack the cities. Christianity. Yeah. QED. <laughs> QED. All good. So back at Atheist HQ, Layla is once again being handed a manila envelope. No, your podcast player is not skipping. It just happens again in this fucking movie. <laughs> yep. One of the people at the Atheism Army HQ just brings over their one middle of folder that they own and slams it down on her desk. And he's like, here's the fucking cases, you bitch. Do whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the new list of cases. They keep saying cases. What does that even mean? No idea. So a part of me wonders, because there's not a lot of COVID bullshit in here. A part of me wonders if this movie contained like 40 minutes of COVID bullshit. And then Angela Merkel came to their house and like broke his pinky and was like, you can make a movie about running around drawing fish with your friends. And he was like, okay, Angela Merkel, give me back my hand. And she was like, this is my hand now. Okay. Bite off Werner Herzog's thumb and you can stay. I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> 
What? <laughs> what does this uh, regional atheist army branch office do? Like, what is their job? They, they are a, for according to what I could see, they are a machine gun inspection <laughs> slash <laughs> yes. cases distribution slash, yes. and yes. a little bit of a spoiler for later on in the movie, model train appreciation. Model train appreciation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You got them all. I will say, too, they have a Word document here. Now, this is where they really oh, yeah. did not is- try here. Word document, clearly word document that just has a big title on top called Christian Conspiracy. <laughs> and then there's names. So she's, she's writing an essay about yeah. her. She's, she's a, this is Layla. She's supposed to be like kind of a spy, right? She's supposed to be yeah. going, going on the other side and helping out the Christians, even though she's in the atheist army. She's writing an essay and she titled it Christian conspiracy. I just wanted yeah. to highlight that one more time. Go, go ahead. And then there's another word because she has two computers open. So she's got one computer that says Christian conspiracy and there's some stuff in there. But then she has another one and I stopped it so I could see what it said. Possible Christian names and they're all one name. So there's yep. not two <laughs> names. Yep. There's not two names. It's nope. all like Bill, Tony, Fred, <laughs> Uncle Steve. Like not even Uncle Steve. It just no, be Steve. No, not you, Tony. Yeah. yeah, it's it's all just one word names. <laughs> this is this is also where Lucinda so she sneaks in to the office, right? She looks through the file and then she sneaks into the office, but they don't light the scene because she does it in the dark. So you can't see what the fuck yeah. is going on. Okay. We've got to talk about the camera placement and the lighting in this part of the scene because it's so weird and random. You cannot see what the fuck is going on. No. You watch the scene, you're like, what was that? Yeah. What the fuck am I looking at? And then you Looks realize like the inside of a, I don't a care. woman's purse. It's yeah, like, you, I right. don't, like they, they carried this, they carried the camera downstairs in someone's purse and they kept that in the, the that was the B roll. Yeah. They balanced this on her clavicle while she yeah. did this scene. You there have is to a hack very in the tense, dark. That's the rule. Yeah. Green dark. There is a very tense confrontation in this scene. I, and I wrote it down so that we can get it to the audience here. It's very, very tense. So important. What are you doing here? I'm just checking to see if the IT is done. Don't we all want efficiency? Of course. So she was checking to see if the internet technology was yes, it's done. done. It's it was done. done. Yep. Keith, Completed. Did program, we buddy. finish the internet technology? <laughs> yes, we have. Don't we all want efficiency? I work here. Of course. End of scene. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's the whole confrontation. You think like, oh man, she that bitch is done caught now. <laughs> Uh-uh. Nope. No. no. <laughs> Talked my way out of it like fucking silver tongue, baby. Get the fuck out of my way. Lucinda, though, her delivery and what are you doing here is, what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not even kidding. That's how she says. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Lucinda's a bad guy. She's the, yeah. we're going to find out She's the daughter the of Master yeah. Sergeant Atheist yes. and also works for the Atheist Army. Right, right, right. She is also yes. animal. She's crackers. also animal crackers. Yep. Yes, that they're delicious. I don't understand that. It, it seemed like it was pejorative. I don't yeah. get that. And just one little thing here about the end of the scene: as Lucinda walks away, I think they try to do like a, a, a panning shot away, but they just follow Lucinda's butt really awkwardly. <laughs> she yeah. walks out of the scene. It's like the cameraman got got distracted by his sexual harassment in the workplace. <laughs> So now it's time for German Steve Jobs to give a sermon, yes. which I would describe as eye contact gibberish. <laughs> He's given a sermon to three people in the rain, and it's the saddest fucking thing ever. It's, a, it's supposed to be a big win for him in this movie, and it's so depressing. It's so good. What One of the lines descri- sounds like bad laundry management. He says, our whites became gray mixed yes. by the government. Oh, see, I have our wife became gray. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's our whites became gray. And again, that feels like something you should not say in Germany. <laughs> it feels like a uh, day on the, on the, you know, the whites being uh, muddled down there. You don't want to yeah. say that, buddy. You want to get done to yourself. This whole speech is should be called, really, German guy? Really? Yeah. He says, what we learned from history is that communism is bad. Later, he says, we freed countries from dictators. And I wrote in my notes, did you, German guy, did you <laughs> free countries from dictators? <laughs> Also, when he's speaking, he speaks with all the passion of a broken speak and spell. 
There is <laughs> there is nothing. There is nothing. There. How is this a motivational speech? He uses the Braveheart line. Yeah. Yes! Word it for it's word. Pretty it's pretty and great. And then realizes, and he goes, they may take our lives, but they may never take our freedom. And then you see the actor be like, Shit, Braveheart. That's Braveheart. <laughs> totally simple. Oh, you gotta man. lean into it like Michael Scott. You gotta be like, Braveheart. Nailed it. That's a lie. Braveheart. So good. <laughs> Crushed it. Also, by the way, there's like, in that speech, there's like three and guess what's in there. They yeah, let him yes, in. Yes. And guess what? And guess what? Don't ask me. Tell me, motherfucker. I'm not in a guessing game. The fuck? Tell me what's going on. <laughs> if I gotta yeah. guess, I'm giving the fucking speech myself, asshole. Get out of the way. Ugh. And now it's time for another musical montage. Yes. This time of walking some more again. Well, there's walking, but then it's a montage of the sister of Steve Jobs. Does she have a name? What's her name? Steve Jobs' sister? German Steve Jobs? We have failed to tell it to you twice on this podcast. Right? <laughs> we didn't learn it. We don't know. <laughs> she maybe has a name. She has Google Maps up on her phone and she's drawing a map on paper of Germany as like a brainstorming idea web of how to spread this <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. The, the web is just the cities in Germany, to be clear. That's what she's written down in an idea web, like Germany in the middle. And then it's like Berlin, Essen. Like <laughs> that's not how ideas work. It's not anything. Yeah. And then there's one tangent on the top right that says, Delivery to Russia? <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> this is her being like, I got cities. I got cities, countries, Russia? I'm nailing it. <laughs> and also, this whole thing, again, it's another musical montage. And it's a musical montage interspersed with the most random shit. Like, at one point, fucking Steve Jobs is just pointing at some hills for some reason. He's showing her a rock in another yeah, moment. Yeah. Just this is what rocks are. There's no point to any of it. Then a risk board. And he body checks her in another one. Yeah, he, does. Does. <laughs> he opens he opens a box that has an old army medal in it. Yeah. Closes it and then never acknowledges it again. <laughs> and a weird like risk board lights up with different colors. That's yeah. another thing yeah. that happens. It's we do get like, some lovely shots of the German countryside here. Yeah. Though, so I was like, oh, Germany's lovely. I just, I don't, I don't want to travel there because like, I don't want to see an old person. Cause I feel like if I see a German <laughs> old person, I'm going to be like, I bet you're a fucking Nazi. <laughs> right. And then I was like, I wonder if that's how people are going to feel when they visit America in 50 yeah. years. Like they'll see my old ass like rascaling around and they'll be like, I bet that guy didn't wear a fucking mask. That <laughs> asshole that didn't wear a mask. That guy's a Trump supporter. <laughs> Look yeah. at him. Ooh, her name's Hannah. I have that in my notes here. I think <laughs> I learned right now that. The main character's name is Hannah. And she's managed to conceptualize all the cities in Europe. And they announced that, like, we've got all of Europe taken over. Christianity is getting seeded once again because of our DVDs. And then they <laughs> show a spindle of, like, eight DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> Probably eight. Eight is generous. Yeah, yeah. one for each Europe. So, <laughs> so we cut back to Christian dorm room where they're all playing cards when there's another knock at the door because the fucking only way that this movie can communicate new information is for someone to knock on the door and show up and say it. Yeah, and this scene makes no sense because this is where a scene describes that sometimes you're getting watched all the time and you're high treason and some people get arrested, but not all the people get arrested, but my mom got arrested. And anyway, you should probably go but not before you take these DVDs. <laughs> That's the scene. <laughs> okay, I have to talk about You Should Probably Go. German Steve Jobs, as Cecil has indicated multiple times, this movie is probably improvised by an English as a second language class in the middle of <laughs> Germany somewhere at like a Christian college. <laughs> yes. But German Steve Jobs fucking hates the actor who's delivering this news. So <laughs> one third of his lines would be like, well, you should probably fucking go now. <laughs> but wait, no, you didn't hear my father. He was killed. Oh, your father was killed. You should probably go. That seems like it's a leaving time for you to go. And, and literally at one point he says, also, you should leave, quote, and quickly. <laughs> 
We should take my mixtape before you leave. It's pretty hot. <laughs> yeah, I did. Here's I wrote my mixtape. I wrote let, here. Let me sign it to you. That's going to be worth a lot one day, man. Twenty bucks. Come on, twenty <laughs> bucks. He's handing him the Bible DVDs. and goes, here's one on praying. Here's one on the Bible. And I wanted him to be like, this is the Clumps 2. That's just a great movie. Like, not a lot of people appreciated the Clumps series. <laughs> and then we watched them pray silently oh, oh, God. in a movie for a half hour. So for an hour. I don't know. They're still doing it. My my yeah. head receded into my shoulders the moment I saw it. I cringed so hard. I was like, no, I can't watch people pray. I can't bother oh. people earnestly wish at the sky. That just makes me <laughs> like, like I would have rather watched them try to set up a DVD player with the wrong <laughs> chords for half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Music note for this prayer montage, by the way. Dido reads the results of a random word generator. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So meanwhile, back at Atheist HQ. Captain Bad Guy has a big speech to make to prove that even the people who speak English are the first language in this movie fucking suck. What the fuck, man? I have never seen, I've never watched a scene where a guy fucks up so bad and doesn't go back. He never, he forges ahead the entire time and never once looks back at the flaming wreckage that was the same. <laughs> there are blooper reels of other movies that have less <laughs> mistakes in them than this. So first of all, we have to talk about he cannot modulate his volume throughout the speech. So the no. speech will be like, hello, today I have a hello, good morning. We are, and his first line is, and we all have different takes on this. So I really, I want everyone to go around, give it your best shot. I have his first line as chaos was liazing our society. Yeah, I had lezing. <laughs> chaos I it was, was lezing. I thought it was sleezing. Sleezing. Ooh, okay. sleezing. Chaos was like sleezing it up. Chaos. Oh, that makes sense, right? Okay, I, now, I watched this with, with subtitles, which is its own thing, guys. And it oh. is chaos was leasing our society. You don't want to pay... Yeah, you gotta Wait, give it back after three. Days. Chaos was renting. It was the renting to own. Was it renting right. to own though? Well, no, it was leasing and probably okay. got gap insurance. For okay. the <laughs> Why would chaos sign? Whatever. No, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't want to go ahead. <laughs> also, he's giving this speech, and the extras did not agree on army people standing at attention or chilling like you're having a hang yeah. sesh with your RA. Right. <laughs> He also describes the society as being both wealthy and happy. Yeah, prosperous. Yeah. And I was like, what? Why? Why is this bad again? I'm trying to remember why we don't like that. I don't. <laughs> Even the, the good guys in the movies don't tell us. Now, it's because they don't have the English word for Strufenfaffel or whatever it is they're mad <laughs> about. But like, at no point where the movie described for us why things are bad. No. Or how they came to be bad. They just described that they don't like them and you can't be a nurse or a Marine anymore. Also, this entire speech is for his sentence fragments. Like yeah. there's not a, there is not a, a completed sentence I have down here. And all our strength and power, even eliminated measures. Those were two words. Those were two <laughs> yep. sentences. Yes. Nothing yes. in that is a sentence. Mm -mm. Was he doing poetry? Is that what it was? <laughs> Ooh, it was like their weekly, the Atheist HQ's weekly poetry jam. He was doing a little slam. Like their open slam. Oh, the next guy comes up, he does stand up. Then there's a ventriloquist everyone feels bad for. Way better movie. <laughs> so now we're going to cut back to the Christians uh, singing Amazing Grace. But yes. uh, so much more importantly, German Steve Jobs has decided that it would look cool for him to put his foot up on the fire pit that they're singing around. And you will never convince me that he didn't flip this at some point and burn his penis very badly <laughs> while trying to shoot this scene. And it gets stopped too, because at this point they're, they're doing this thing. There's a guy in the background. I thought at first was filming the fire that the, because he has his phone out. But he's clearly got his phone out because he's reading the lyrics to Amazing yes! Grace. <laughs> yeah. That is why his phone is out. And the phone, the scene is interrupted by lights in the background. And this is the delivery. There are some lights. What if that <laughs> is the police? Okay. So just to be clear, part of their plan to take over the world for Christianity again is a uh, barrel fire sing along with like five people. That's what's <laughs> happening right now. Mm -hmm. And part of the plan for the police to prevent the world being taken back over is raiding this five person sing along 
very, very slowly. Very yes. slowly. I honestly, I'm sad we missed the shot of the cops trying to parallel park in between two <laughs> corn husks or whatever the fuck was going on in between the lights and when the cops show up. The owner of the car that they borrowed for the police car is clearly in the back just below the camera frame being like, slow the fuck down. Do not ruin my suspension. I swear to fucking God. But yeah, all the Christians decide to give themselves up for arrest, except our protagonist, who again, Runs away in the <laughs> silliest possible manner. Oh, yeah. Yeah. His hands over his head, like Kermit, holding <laughs> yep. a flashlight. And the flashlight's bouncing everywhere yes. as he's running. To rap music. So keep in mind that it's like, amazing. Oh, and we're just watching an Eastern European German guy being like, oh, von Stroffelheifen. <laughs> However, I, I do want to point out two things about this arrest scene. The first is, when the cops come and arrest them, the first one throws the old lady they agreed to be in their movie way too hard. <laughs> <laughs> and it immediately cuts. You watch this actor throw this old lady on the ground and she's like, fine, have her stufen. And he's like, oh, shit, I'm in trouble. <laughs> but the second thing is to close out the scene with symbolism, oh, he yes. stamps out the fire pit, except... He can't do it because it's too much fun. So you yeah. just watch the guy be like, ow, ow, ow can't do that with my foot. Ow. And ow. it's clearly in a fire bowl. It's in someone's backyard. Like they yeah. filmed, they didn't bring yeah. a cast iron fire bowl with you somewhere. <laughs> you did this in somebody's backyard. That's where you oh. filmed this. And then later that, that, that they just step on the fire, but they don't, to Eli's point, they don't put it out. So when they're, when they pull back and fill it, there's just smoke. Like copious, insane amounts of smoke just shitting up from this like now smoldering fire bowl from, thing. Yeah, well, from that human being's foot. Yes. Yeah, a lot of that smoke. It's, it's like a gender from. reveal party. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I think we've all would had been liking to had have been having a quick break, but first, let me give Act Three the hard sell. Will Christianity finally make a comeback in 2025? Will it involve CDRW technology? <laughs> Will there be a sexually charged moment with model trains? Find yes. out all these yes. important answers. Yes, the answer to the third one is yes. Yes, all of them. <laughs> when we come back for the undeniably remaining amount of 2025, <laughs> the world enslaved by a virus. Welcome to Shady Sex Shop. Can I help you? Hi. Yeah, uh, just this for me. Just this. Wonderful. That'll be mm -hmm. twenty-one fifty-five and three puppies. And sorry, and three puppies. What? Oh yeah, when you buy shady sex stuff, uh, we incinerate three puppies. What? Why would you do that? I don't know, man. Cheap plastic, unethical business practices. It's a whole thing. Oh, plus we give money to anti-gay bigots. You're a sex shop. I know, you'd think, right? But yeah, there's okay. A, actually okay. a lot of that. Well, yeah. Is there any way that, that I can buy fuck stuff without funding bigots or killing puppies? Uh, I mean, you could go to adamandeve.com. What's adamandeve.com? They're the number one adult toy superstore. They actually started as a master's thesis in family planning, and they were the first mail-order contraceptive business. Wow, that sounds like ethical. It is. There's sex and sex work positive, as well as LGBTQ friendly. And when you use our code AWFUL, you get 50% off almost any one item, plus 10 free gifts. Hold on. What kind of gifts? Oh, you get a vibe, a cock ring, and a loop sample, plus free porn. Oh, I love free porn. Who doesn't? Okay, so what's that code again? That's AWFUL. A-W-F-U-L. Offer code AWFUL at checkout at adamandeve.com. All right. Well, I guess I won't be needing this. Um, and goodbye. Oh, come on. What am I supposed to do with these puppies now? Just keep them? I knew I shouldn't have kept them behind the register. I'll take them. <laughs> well, hello there. It's me, Fritz Schnitzel, director of this super great movie. 2025, the virus is not cool, man. If you loved our movie, DVD, then you will love the brand new edition, the Tom and Cecil cut. That's right. We recorded Tom and Cecil watching a super cool movie, and now you can enjoy it along with them. Let's have a listen. And that's like, by, you, you know, like, like, 
In so many ways. Oh my so God, say ways, a sentence. Just like, say something. Yeah, I like totally know what you mean because like Jesus, he's like so cool and I want him to, you know, when you're like living your life and you've always wanted in a lot of ways. I am going to shoot it, Tom. I'm going to shoot the TV with my gun. No, see, Saul, so I'm TV. just going to do it. When Jesus is in your life, like, uh, you know, it's just, like if there wasn't a Jesus, you'd, you'd be like, wow, like there's no Tom, what no is Jesus. Jesus' address? We're driving there and I'm going to kill him with this shovel. Okay. The Tom and Cecil cut. It's movie time, baby. <laughs> Tom, Cecil. Eli, what's going on? So we were thinking about it and you guys were actually right. We don't need you to say mean stuff about your listeners to help us out for Patreon. That's stupid. Good. Finally got it. But you know how we try to get new and upgrading patrons to help us hit goals for the pajama party? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Heath and I were thinking we should create some friendship goals for us that might push the needle even further. Like fun stuff that we would have to do with you guys? Yes, exactly. I mean, sure. I'll, I mean, I'm going to hear what you guys have to say. Sure, go ahead. Okay. So one, if we hit 50 new and upgrading patrons, Tom and I will go get burgers together. I mean, I don't. I like burgers. So I don't yeah. know that I... Yeah, and at 100 new and upgrading patrons, nope. Cecil and I will mm. sew ourselves together like a human centipede. We will do what now? Then at 125, Tom and I will I, go skydiving together. That is okay. super gross. Because uh, of the fuel emissions? Because you can buy carbon credits now. You can I'm buy not carbon the skydiving, credits. Heath. Don't be smart. It's not the skydiving. And then, and then at 150, Cecil and I will fuse like Garnet and Steven Universe. What does that even mean? What the, so, what are you talking about? Head over to matreon.com today. Give what you can and help us solidify our friendship physically. You guys are already at 160. I'm going to go get the thread and the background. No, music. don't burgers. get the, don't get the thread. I want to do the burgers. I love oh, burgers. Switchies. Yeah. Yeah. Switchies, Tom. She's on there. Fuck. She, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. I don't remember what was it. What, what, what happened? <laughs> What's happening now? Eli, anybody? There was a fire pit. I, it's episode 300, people. This is hard to keep track of. But no, we're back at Atheism HQ, and one of the underlings is telling Captain Major, the guy who gave the nonsense fragment speech, that it's getting worse. The Christianity. Oh, right. Yeah. Because yeah, he says, <laughs> this is the best. He says, random Christians are meeting at random times and random places. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they, they randomized all that stuff. That's like a weird <laughs> strategy. But then the boss is like, random. They have to have leaders. And I was like, oh, they just don't know what that word means. None of the <laughs> German people or English speaking people know what random means. Okay. Go ahead, guys. This is also where they point out that they can track phones of, quote, specific groups of people, like people with <laughs> yeah. phones. That would yep, be that's the, the ones that you can yeah. do that now. <laughs> yeah. Hack yeah. Tom also. Hack them. They, have a they, hack 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 they hacked yeah, it. Right. Hack hack them. Okay. But yeah. now, now it's time for the major to earn his Oscar because he's oh, going to deliver God. his model train monologue oh, to his so daughter. Weird. <laughs> So he opens it by saying, you see these? Because they very much assumed he was going to get more than one model train. <laughs> but he did not. He did not. He goes, they're beautiful, but dangerous. And I'm like, I, are model trains dangerous? <laughs> <laughs> are model trains beautiful? You can pinch your hand on those wheels sometimes. <laughs> very dangerous. This is, come smart. on. This is a, this guy thinks they're beautiful. This is a very sexual moment that I was talking about. Oh, before. absolutely. Yes. There's a lot of sensuality. Yeah. He, he says danger is often hidden in beauty. And these are dangerous. <laughs> and yeah. he's talking to Lucinda, who is his daughter and also part of the atheist army. And she's like, and also animal crackers. Dude, what? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> and apparently the, these trains, but really this train, because he only got one and he was pissed. Mm -hmm. This train represents the Christians he killed. Exact words, exact yeah. words. These trains represent the Christians I kill. <laughs> I don't understand that. I'd really like it if German people didn't do train killing stuff. Oh. That's great. You could leave that out. <laughs> I didn't realize. Yeah. Wow. Okay. 
But daughter's like, oh, okay, so we're we're figuring out a strategy based on trains. La. Let's make all the Christians pledge allegiance to the constitution of atheism. Train. All You're right, train. Just train. <laughs> and he's like, yep, great. Great plan. Great plan. She goes, that's good. I'll talk to the minister of propaganda. Yes. And then, <laughs> thank you. Yep, they say that. Propaganda. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a goose in a tux. If people are wondering, <laughs> yeah, it's a tiny little goose with a little bow tie. Yeah, that's peace. What that is. Peace was never an option. Yeah, and then she's supposed to exit the scene, but all she had to do was not walk and stop in the shot. This, and yet, this is amazing. She walks like a foot and a half away, <laughs> turns around 180 degrees, sees that the camera is still very much pointed at her, and then inches out. Like a cartoon character. <laughs> oh, you can't terrified. see me. I'm moving too slow. She's told to go I see the, the minister of propaganda. And she's like, <laughs> I will. He works here in the corner of the frame. Nope. He's somewhere <laughs> else. He's not there. Somewhere Please stop rolling. Else. Yeah. Dive roll. <laughs> so now we cut to Layla who is warning the Christians that they're going to make everyone say the Pledge of Allegiance. Yeah, thank you. Like, they're all worked up about it. This is for an American audience, right? Like, like the seventh inning stretch, we all stand up and <laughs> sing the national. We're, we're like, we're good with this. This is not the hill we die on. <laughs> the, the movie all. really struggles about which side of the Pledge of Allegiance they come out on. <laughs> Also, the way she delivers her lines, too. She's clearly reading. And this is, by the way, this is the woman who was eating mucilix earlier. Yep, who looks cereal. like an animated doe. She <laughs> seriously has the biggest eyes you've ever seen. But anyway, she she's reading from her computer. And she says, better be not in public around these times. <laughs> like she's seriously, I'm not even kidding. I think I read that line better than she did. She's clearly reading it from her computer. It's right in front While of she's her. She's reading it from Google Translate yeah. as yeah. Google Translate is doing it. <laughs> yeah. And now it's time for us to watch almost a porno. Well, that's yes. what I have this scene. Yeah. On. What? Caliente on this scene. That's is all I'm this? saying. Okay. So Rachel slash whatever her real name is, the hacker is talking to sister. And the, the whole scene is just them swinging and missing at a good old fashioned lesbian porn, which would have yes. made this movie so much yes. better. Yes. Somebody was going to have their muff in a pizza box before the end of this scene. <laughs> you know what was going to happen. They also, I want to point this out, they start the scene in German like they forgot they were making an English <laughs> yeah. movie. And then without any sign or signal, transfer back into English. Thank you. I was. Uh, Thank you, Eli. When they move to German, you're like, oh, there must be a reason for that. And then they don't have a reason instead. And they're, they, they switch back. They're like, it's too hard to learn. I don't, I'm not saying that in English. Like, <laughs> just subtitle it, Gary. Just stick with German for the rest of the movie. Oh my God. It would have been so much better in German. So much better. The only theory I have, and it's a self defeating one, is that they didn't know the English words for the first four lines of this scene, except there are subtitles, so they did. <laughs> <laughs> also, just a side note this is the first time we hear Jesus in German, and it's Jesus. And I liked it. I don't know. I was kind of a fan. <laughs> but yeah, she basically prays. She's like, I don't know how to pray. And she's like, oh, I will teach you. Put your hand on my shoulder. And I was like, I love Turn this. Turn me into yeah. a woman. Yeah. <laughs> it was going to be. It was going to be a moment where they're going to ask her to turn her into a woman. You know it was going to happen. They just faded the black way too soon. There's yeah. other things I don't know how to do. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was going to turn into like a prayer pillow fight after a while. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> They're just pillow fighting with my pillows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Use coupon code Hufenschlafen. <laughs> it's actually just Q. It's the letter Q. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh. So now we're going to check in to see how the mission is going with oh. Hunter. And we learn they've reached 100,000 people <sighs> in Asia. They're. they're they're so proud of that. If you get a hundred thousand, how they learn it though? Things in Asia. That's not a good number. They learned it because, as we learned earlier, they're tracking all of this with 
phone calls because, you know, they hacked the Asian police. <laughs> so they they called up uh, all of Asia and they were like, oh, 100,000. Just going to write this down on my paper plate paper where plate. I keep track of it. <laughs> Documents. The plate of Christian attendance. I'm not making that up. We're looking at a paper plate on, on a little table here. Plate. Yes, we are. Where they keep track of so 100,000 Asian Christian people now. And then hands off two handfuls of DVDs for the 100,000 Bible starved Christians There's in like Asia. 50 DVDs for all of Asia. Less than them? Yeah. He says, quote, these are for Asia. Okay, yeah. but that's the only part of this movie that tracks because if you had 50 originals and you deliver them to Asia, they'd bootleg a fucking 10 million of them <laughs> in the first three hours. That's true. They can handle the rest. But literally, it was like, give these 50 DVDs to fucking Tim and have him hand them out in Asia. Tim knows our Asia guy. <laughs> yeah, that's the plan. He's not kidding because he says, get that to our Asia contact. I wrote that down. They've got one contact for the continent of Asia. Yeah. One guy. <laughs> Wait, we only need those seven people, right? We're pretty much rock But up. he's such a hard worker. He's so great. This is interrupted, though, of course, by a knock at the door. And it's Luke, the guy from the beginning with the man bun, man who bun? was clearly practicing a keto somewhere, who <laughs> knocked on the door. He knocks on the door, though, and him standing there and the way this is filmed is exactly how the rest of the movie is filmed. And this is the problem with when nobody knows what they're doing. Everybody films everything in the center of the shot and then there's no bokeh, right? So it doesn't, you don't, everything is in focus. Every single thing in the frame is in focus, <laughs> including the stairs and the exit sign behind the guy. And he is dead center in the frame and both these guys are off frame with their heads on frame. It's the, it's every <laughs> single scene in this and it's the worst. All of it is shot like that. It's shot on bad home movie by dad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And Karate Man Bun guy, the whole point of him in this scene, I think, is just to explain how dumb their fucking plan is. And the movie doesn't <laughs> realize that that's what they've written. So he's just like, you guys are dumb. You're sending 50 DVDs to all of Asia. That's nothing. You, that's nonsense right there. You're going to get arrested. Your whole thing is dumb. And they're like, we have a hacker hack. Yep. Fuck you. I lost my girlfriend. I'm a yes! Marine. You beat me to it. Yes, Hunter as part of this. So he's like, you are going to get caught. You're just endangering yourselves and each other. He doesn't say that in nearly as good English as I just did. And they're like, we have a hacker. It's going to be great. And Hunter's just like, I broke up with my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, I lost my girlfriend. That's a basic freedom. And man, the guy's like, dude, that that's just... You, that's just something you don't have that you used to have. That's not like a law. There's no law that says you have to have a girlfriend. Third Amendment married. says that Jennifer Holcomb of Bayonne, New Jersey has to go out on a date with me. She's a soldier quartered in my house. So now it's time for this movie to have a romance. Mm, um, really? Oh, fucking and this is that what it has? This shit, dude. This scene is so painful. Oh, to, like, God. I would rather watch myself get turned down for prom over and over yep. again in some form of hell dimension. This is how romance goes for a lot of people, Eli. This is how it goes. <laughs> it's normal. Yeah, this, this is the Heath Enright flirting school of flirting for sure. <laughs> Guys, like, I have a hard time talking to girls and practice kissing on my hand. So I wonder, I try my sister, but she don't like it. Is there a way we can... We can make you fucky. Okay. I don't know. He it's cannot crazy. cannot stop talking about his sister. It's so Cecil's not exaggerating. Crazy. He says, I have my sister, but that's not ideal for practicing <laughs> romance. That's so cringy, man. He cannot stop mentioning his sister. This is a romance scene where he is going to kiss her, and he mentions his sister four times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And when he's when he's trying to like sell her on the idea of him, it sounds like he's sort of pitching like, you know, if I were the last man on earth, <laughs> then would you fuck me? Like <laughs> it's very, very odd. Okay. Oh but my favorite part is the moment he actually tries to kiss her. He's like, I am loving you. And she's like, same. That's that's the romantic <laughs> exchange. Yeah, that's the same. He's, like, so. he's about to go kiss her and he's like. Sorry, can uh, fuck. Can you take off your like 
1800s steam engine <laughs> hat that's in, it's no, in no, the no. way. You no, look no, like no. fucking Fievel. You look like Fievel goes west. I don't know why you would have that out of nowhere right now. He, I, I hate to argue with you, but he does not ask her to remove her tiny little engineer's hat. He gently removes it kisses her and then like a fucking crazy person replaces it back <laughs> and pokes her, her in the eye <laughs> it's amazing it like it couldn't be uh, more me and like if he he just needed to be thicker and it was me oh, God. <laughs> and, and it takes off her head and her eyes are so big they fall out like ears they just yeah. fall out like, <laughs> it's amazing <laughs> Does anybody uh, else think that this scene was written by this guy so he could kiss the girl that friend zoned him? Like, you will be in my movie and there'll be a kiss scene. That is scene. very likely accurate. Oh, Honestly, yeah. the best reason this movie could be made was so that this guy could kiss this girl. Yes. It's so much worse than that. <laughs> or his sister, maybe. <laughs> sure. <laughs> or so both. Amazing. I don't know. They He's had a big fight. Yeah, and they something. totally smash their lips together like two zombies. Too, <laughs> they do not kiss. <laughs> this is like they just like smash their lips together for a second, and the camera spins around them for half a second, and then now they're holding hands. They did. She agreed to clearly agreed to one kiss, and that was it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then, and then at the end of the scene, they hug like an eighth grade dance, and she leaves. <laughs> that was a rough hug fucking rough I've been at the funeral of people I've killed and gotten more warm hugs <laughs> than he gets at the end of this scene yeah and they also say too she also says it's going to be hard but Jesus will be in the center of our relationship yep and I'm like, how does that work? Do you have to, I know that there's some people out there that have to fuck through his sheets. You have to fuck through Jesus's hand. You have to put your dick. <laughs> you don't have to, Jesus, but you is can. That, is that why your ass is all the way out right now yeah. during this hug? It's Jesus right there. <laughs> Jesus is in between the hug. Between our genitals. So back at Atheist Army HQ, once again, She's being brought the manila envelope with the cases in it. <laughs> this time, though, it has in giant letters scribbled diagonally across latest cases across the front of the folder. So what is a case? I still Are they talking about yeah. COVID cases? or Unclear. Cases Unclear. of DVDs? Sure. <laughs> and <laughs> Angela Marco. Angela Marco kicked that guy in the balls. And so whatever those cases were, uh, we weren't allowed to see that part of the movie. <laughs> but Layla tries to sneak a couple of pages in, but oh, she's caught by Lucinda, the animal cracker. <laughs> she brings her outside and she holds her at gunpoint. And then she explains that she doesn't want to be a bad guy. Anymore. <laughs> but she explains it, Eli, as if she's in an echoey room and they're doing a voiceover where she's clearly not in that setting. Yeah, <laughs> thank they, you. They cut back <laughs> and she and she her back's to the camera, right? So her back is to the camera the whole time and they clearly didn't get her audio. The boom was too close to Layla. And yeah. so they they have what they have is really bad audio of Lucinda that they would have to pump up and you'd get all that noise in the background. So instead they just had to re-record it, but they didn't bother to even make it not a giant empty room so no, you they, they had her record room. her ADR in like an underground sewer she's outside <laughs> yeah. and she's outside and it sounds like she's literally in a small <laughs> closet so. it's, it's also a giant miss here so they're trying to have a character turn Yeah, Lucinda is supposed to be becoming a good character and she's like yeah so my dad the uh, you know sergeant of the atheist <laughs> army he's crazy something with trains he killed people there was train he, they, trains yeah. represented him <laughs> killing people i don't know it was nuts he gave me a whole speech <laughs> and then good character layla is like oh cool lucinda great um can you can you help us because <laughs> you know we're the good team we're the christians and lucinda's like no okay bye yeah <laughs> what the scene didn't have to happen but I, I gotta go back to the dad thing real quick because she describes how she was raised by her dad, like like to her dad's a bad guy. And like he tried to raise me to be like an emotional robot or whatever. And I'm like, but things only went bad five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> this is unrelated. But just so you know, my father <laughs> right. talked about killing me and my mom. And by the way, again, Heath, I hate to correct you, but this is so important. She says, hey, can you help us? Do you want to change your life? And she goes, no. 
I get nervous and crowd. <laughs> I get nervous and crowd. That was the excuse. Yeah, yep. she can't. She can't pee in front of other people if you stand next to the urinal. <laughs> That's how. It's, yeah. So now it's time for them to have their live YouTube show for all of Christianity. <laughs> oh, I hate that. Oh. The whole world was watching. I did not realize that was what was happening at first, and I was like, "Oh, are they building a fucking porn set? Is this finally yeah. happening?" Yeah, yep. <laughs> yep. that's what they're they're like laying down pillows in like a big pile. <laughs> putting, and like, he up. seems like really nervous too. Like, okay, and they're gonna come in. I gotta fluff a little bit here. <laughs> <laughs> Took three Viagra. I'm fucking speech. ready for this though. <laughs> David Hasselhoff, David Hasselhoff, David Hasselhoff. <laughs> but no, they're going to do Zoom communion. Red, yellow, yellow leather, literally. Red, yellow, <laughs> yellow leather. <laughs> when, they, when they do Zoom communion, they don't eat bread. No, they do not. They mime eating bread. Mm -hmm. But then they actually drink something for the drinky part. But the drinky part, what they drink looks like, like apple juice or urine. 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 So like urine. 100% urine. 100%. 100 why wouldn't urine. you mime that part? If you drink it, you're in. <laughs> Hunter <laughs> cannot stop drinking his urine. So no. they do the communion, right? Where it's like, oh, so blah, 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 blah. And it's a very holy moment. Yeah. They got the background music. For the rest of the scene, my friends, pay attention to nothing except Hunter, who's like, don't drink the more urine. Don't drink the more urine. <laughs> oh, I want it so bad. But, but, but Hunter, though, the best part about Hunter is he is asked to pray, does a terrible job praying. I'll let somebody else handle that. But at the end of that prayer, since he drank so much piss, he burps. He burps <laughs> at the end of his prayer. Yep. <laughs> And they kept it in the movie. Yeah, they, they also, kept it. They also keep him clearing his throat right before his Yes. Prayer. They're like, yes. Hunter, can you lead us in prayer? And he's like, eh -em. That <sighs> dude needed a recola throughout the entire movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then they turn off the Zoom call and they're like, that was so great. The whole earth was watching. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yep. That's sure. That's yeah. So they... They called up on rotary phones all yep. the Christians in the world and were like, yep. "Here's the Zoom link. I'm gonna I'm gonna read it to you as a URL you right now. <laughs> yeah, are you writing this down? <laughs> Lowercase u three four z umlaut uh, j. So no, I can't, j. I can't slow down. I have to cause the uh. whole earth. <laughs> Did you get one of our DVDs yeah. meant for Asia? We sent fifty. Uh. So there's a lot. There was only 30 people in that still frame of a Zoom call that they put up on the screen either. There was only like maybe 30 people in that. Come on, who are you crapping? <laughs> but meanwhile, back at Atheist Army HQ, oh, God. they have been betrayed by Ponytail Guy. Oh, man. Sorry, before we even get to this scene, we know that they're back at Atheist HQ because of an establishing shot that took three edits Yes, yep. they did. They they had to cut three times to establish a place. Uh, that, you know that place from the movie? Three yeah. shots. Yeah, that's it's the basement of their church. But yeah, anyway. Yeah. But it is. But like, also, this is a great time to point out that Atheist HQ is just a bunch of folding tables with like laptops, and they, and they're yeah arranged and table skirts. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's and an machine occasional gun. machine gun. Yeah, but they're just folding tables. They're like church folding tables. Very much, yes. <laughs> but yeah, the sergeant gets brought over to Luke and it's so good because he's like, what information do you have for me? And Luke is like, okay, hello. First of all, my name is Luke. Hi. <laughs> this is what he says. He says, I hear you are looking for the group that is dancing on your noses. Dancing on your noses. I wrote it down. Dancing on your noses. <laughs> Dude, God, you're doing. I'm gonna I'm gonna work that into conversation yeah. so much now. <laughs> and then he all he follows that up with they are only three people. This whole thing is growing out of itself. It's weird. <laughs> 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 but he can tell them where they are, which yes. means that the bad guys sound the let's go kill people alarm. Yes. You, yes. Getting it done alarm music. Yes. Yeah, there's literally a klaxon going on. <laughs> Just so that, what, you show up to battle with a banging headache before you go? Oh, God. The cheats in the corner just turning the light switch <laughs> on and off. Just, <laughs> do they just <laughs> press an alarm button when they go anywhere? Yep, that's their lead. Yeah, that's what that's the do, yeah. go be bad guys alarm, apparently. Yes. 
oh, we listen to it forever. But yeah, they break into the Christian house where, where the Christians are not yeah. for some reason. And they have to do like a raid shoot. But of course, they're not allowed to like break anything because it's their dorm room in their weird Christian college. <laughs> so the only kind of violence that happens is, so is they so roughly good. push over a Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, you got to understand, it's like a tabletop Christmas tree. It's only 18 inches tall. Yeah, so when they push it over, it literally fucking falls. It's like the tiniest little so tree good. you would buy at Walgreens. It's hilarious. It might as well oh. pop back up like a sippy oh. cup and they're just like, fuck, okay, that was oh. not impactful. <laughs> Apparently, uh, they have to take off single single pieces of decorations and try to smash them. They run over to the DVDs and you can see the actor being like, do I like break one? Do I snap one? No, we can't break any of the DVDs because we need, okay, we need these DVDs. But I'm going to look menacingly at their Christian DVD. <laughs> just, just brush things gently off the table. That's what you can do. You can brush things gently off go. the table. <laughs> and they're also doing the soldiers who are supposed to be following <laughs> German Steve Jobs are doing like that military movement thing. Like you're raiding a drug house, yeah. but they're yeah. outside here in the open and just clearly like following the guy they see, but yeah. they're doing yeah. like crisscross movements and serpentine for no reason, <laughs> holding up stop signs and yeah, go signs. They're holding up their hand and then one finger and then two fingers. <laughs> Throwing a fastball. Yeah. yeah, the guy throws a curve. Exactly. <laughs> he gets to the car that oh. we see that, that we saw from the chase. Oh my God. And he this. breaks the car window. Now, my friends. This does not matter to the movie, but it will matter to the funniest part of this movie. Yep. So very strong, very important pin in him breaking the car window. But he breaks in the car window, drives off, and we're back at the beginning of the movie. Yeah. Well, he also smashes into the car. <laughs> okay, but hold on a second. Hang on a second. He not he breaks into the car, but this is the scene. He looks right at the camera and kind of was like, yeah, I know. It's the only scene. He looks right. He breaks into the car. He's like, broke into a car. Like, I hack you guys hot see that wire shit? now. <laughs> hack hack any car. Well, that's the, he broke into the car. He did not have to hot wire it. He just got in it and drove it. Yep. No, the, the keys were on the dash. The keys were on the dash. Oh, were they, were, uh, oh. Yeah, yeah so he breaks it in and he reaches up and grabs a key off the dash oh, okay. that was clearly on the dash that they locked in their locked car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like you do, Tom. Like you do. Yeah. Like you do. I must have missed that because it's so asinine my brain wouldn't process it. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so we watch the beginning of the movie again. We watch that same car yeah, chase. Uh, then we cut great. back to bad guy police station where commissioner bad guy is like, kill him. But like, s secretly. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah, we're a one world government. You got to sweep that under the rug. Okay. We are a one world government. It, yeah. Yeah. He's supposed to be saying that like secretly, like dispose of this guy discreetly. But he's talking into a microphone. <laughs> yes. So that just went over the PA. In the I, yeah. I wanted German Steve Jobs to be like, I, I can hear you. I can hear. <laughs> uh, I can. No, no, you can't. No, I did. Uh, I did. <laughs> and again. They drive this guy who they are about to execute uh, for random secrecy reasons. No handcuffs while they no drive. Handcuffs. No yeah. handcuffs at all. Just, all right, get in the car. We're going to go take you to the woods to kill you. Oh, okay. But the police light that is normally outside the car is yes, clearly inside, inside the car. Yes. <laughs> because you can't have a fake police car yeah. in Germany. So they were like, okay, we'll keep it inside your car and we'll use it only for a minute. Okay. Also... <laughs> Why is the atheist army soldier guy wearing a gas mask? Great question. Great wonderful question. Wonderful question. My guess would be because he is one of the other named characters in the movie. Oh, and they saw gas masks in movies and they were like, this is a movie thing. Gas mask. Yeah. Done. But Lucinda gets him into the woods, holds her gun out at him and blackout. Teasing for a sequel. <laughs> Two yep. shots. You don't yep. know she killed the other guy. Or she killed him. No idea, but there's two shots. It's <laughs> like Nathaniel <laughs> fucking <laughs> Hawthorne. Ambiguous. And then they just flash on the screen like, special thanks to Jesus Christ for this movie. <laughs> but, yes. Now we are it's not the blooper done yet. reel. Oh, it's the, the blooper, blooper reel. Oh my God. And I'm going to pull out that pin because the very first blooper oh. is German Stephen Jobs throwing the rock at the car window not hard enough and it 
hitting him in the ass <laughs> and him three going, times. <laughs> he hits him three times, man. He can't break it three times in a row. He Not only that, he's so bad. <laughs> he throws it and then he sh- he knows that he knows he threw it like a giant wimp because he throws it then he shrinks away in fear from his own throwing. <laughs> He knew it was bouncing back. Oh, Every he, time. he jumps away like George Michael. Like, you still doing that, buddy? Like, it's so good. <laughs> also, they show him trying to drink the urine, and all of them except Hunter are like, gross urine. And Hunter's like, glug, glug, glug. Oh. <laughs> you guys don't like it? Are you guys going to finish your urine? <laughs> and then they show every time that Hunter messed up a line, so it's like 45 minutes long. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, question. <laughs> Did Lucinda, who may or may not have had a good to Christianity turn, did she did she shoot Steve Jobs or did she shoot atheist army guy with a gas mask for no reason in the final scene? I think she killed cinema. <laughs> <laughs> Christian cinema? I'm down. There were two shots. I like to think that she killed Steve Jobs and then herself. <laughs> Interesting. I think she just wanted out of the movie and shot herself twice. In the face. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. That's going to wrap it up for 2025. The world enslaved by a virus, but that's not going to do it for the episode just yet because we found another bad movie. Eli, what's on deck? Well, he, this is one that you picked out for us. Yes, it is. This is the 1998 Dennis Quaid versus Islam film savior. <laughs> All right, well, with that to look forward to, we're going to bring episode 300 to a merciful close. Huge thanks to Tom and Cecil for joining us. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks for having us, guys. It's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure. Where can everybody hear more Tom and Cecil? Where should they go? Go to citationpod.com, and you can hear not just us, but the puzzle guys. We do a great show there, Citation Needed. You should check it out every week. We have a blast. We love recording it, and it's a lot of fun. You can also check us out at dissonancepod.com. Fantastic. And of course, a big thanks to our Patreon donors for all the generosity. If you'd like to help support the show, you can make a per episode donation at patreon.com slash godawful. And that'll get you early access to an ad free version of every episode. And right now, because it's Matreon, that'll get you some other stuff too. We got some goals. Mm-hmm. Matreon pajama party coming up. Yeah, do it. You can also help us out by leaving us good reviews and by sharing the show on all your various social media platforms. And if you enjoyed this show, be sure to check out our sibling shows, The Scathing Atheist. Citation Needed, which was mentioned already. The Skeptocrat, which was in the New York Times. No big deal. Little <laughs> New York Maybe Times. you've heard of it. It's, it's in New York. York. You don't and have to also, wear a mask anymore. D&D <laughs> minus. Boing. All those are available in all the podcast places. If you have questions, comments, or cinematic suggestions, you can email godawfulmovies at gmail.com. Legal services for this podcast are provided by the law offices of P. Andrew Torres. Our theme song is written and performed by Ryan Slotnick of Evil Drafts on Mars. All other music was written and performed by our audio engineer, Morgan Clark, and was used with permission. Thank you, Morgan. Thanks, Morgan. Love you. Thanks again for giving us a good chunk of your life this week. For Cecil, Tom, and Eli, I'm Heath, promising to work hard to earn another chunk next week. Until then, we'll leave you with the Animal House clothes. German Steve Jobs went on to a lucrative career as a minor league pitcher. <laughs> <laughs> Inspired by his Jesus Corona joke, Hunter went on to write an equally unfunny trans joke. Yeah, (laughs) that sounds just about right. Sergeant Atheism definitely went on to put his dick in that model train. 100%. (laughs) German Steve Jobs was strangled trying to fit inside a leather jacket meant for a coat rack in a (laughs) dollhouse. Rachel finally got that back rub. (laughs) The preceding podcast was a production of Puzzle and a Thunderstorm, LLC. Copyright 2021. All rights reserved.